hi welcome everyone to this session once again so today our session is on the discussion on the moment connection and the shear connection how it is different from the structural perspective how we can define it and what is the structural response so if you have watched my previous video on the partial moment release you would have known that the concept of the partial moment release and its context to the shear and moment connection in STAD. Now the term shear connection is coined by the fact that the connection ideally allows only the shear force to get transferred whereas the moment connection allows both the moment as well as the shear force to get transferred. So in short in general, any pin connection is considered as the shear connection and the connection where there is no pin, there is no hinges or simply the members are connected together as a fixed connection are known as the moment connection. So here are a few examples with some illustration on the shear connection as well as the moment connection. Now there is a very important question arises from this context that why the web only connected but the flange being disconnected to its neighboring member is considered as a shear connection. So here you can see in this illustration that in the shear connection the flange is not connected to the adjacent member only the web is connected. So to understand this we have to understand the stress distribution profile across the depth of a member when a lateral load is acting on this. So if you see the shear stress profile developed across the depth of the I-shaped section, you could see the majority of shear stress is taken by the web portion compared to the flange portion, whereas flexural stress is developed across the web as well as the flange. Now this flexural stress is nothing but the fiber stress which is running across the direction of the axis of the member. So this is the shear stress distribution and this is the normal stress distribution due to the moment. Now you can see here that in case of the shear stress distribution the web portion has got the major role than the flange. Whereas in the normal axial stress distribution, which has developed due to flexure, the flange has got more role than the web. Although web also has the role, but here the flange is more important. Now, as explained in my earlier video on the partial moment release, uh, I have explained that no connection is ideally a shear connection and no connection is ideally a moment connection. Now that's because certain portion of the moment would be developed as the connection is placed away from the neutral axis and thereby restricting some rotation and thereby the moment would be developed in case of a shear connection. And also in case of a moment connection, slight amount of rotation would undergo due to the inelastic deformation of the connection at the flange level. Now the same concept of the moment and the shear connection also exist in the base plate modeling and design. So the column whose base is expected to rotate uh, is assigned as a pin connection is similarly behaving as a shear connection. That means the connection is ideally connected through its web. The flange has got no role here to resist any kind of rotation. Whereas the base where the flanges are properly restricted against the rotation is known as the moment connection and here the base is generally assigned as a fixed. So instead you can assign the shear connection by simply assigning the member end release uh, for the MZ rotation. And then you can use that section for shear connection design in a RAM connection software. Now, please let me know that RAM connection is a very powerful software from Bentley, which handles different kinds of steel connection and its design. 
I will create a separate video on the RAM connection design workflow. Now please note that you must follow the compatibility in the workflow. Say for example, you have defined the shear connection instead by releasing the member end for the MZ and then analyzed. But in RAM connection, you have chosen the moment connection template and you are designing for the force that you have extracted from the stat processing for the same joint forces. So you can here expect some unexpected design result. So the design result could be very much conservative or it could be unsafe. For example, this is a structure, steel structure. Let me show the rendered view here. So let's take these two column and beam joint. This is the 3D rendering. Now this member has been assigned with MZ releases at the both ends. So ideally it should be behaving as a shear connection. Now I have already performed the analysis in STAD and after performing the analysis as it's a shear connection so there is no end moment only there would be some shear value. Now I have come to the interface where I can run the connection design and take this design template to RAM connection. Now for example, let's take this one, this two joint and going to this beam column flange uh, connection template. Now I am choosing all the templates available here. We have different templates uh, like flange plate BCF, then single plate BCF, a lot of other uh, templates we have. So let's see this one. Okay, so this design is performed. Now this is the one. If I double click on this, here you can see that the connection template that I have chosen is basically a moment connection because you can see both the extreme flanges are restrained against the movement. That means the member is not allowed to rotate. So basically this is against the consideration that we have assumed in StatPro. In StatPro we have assumed that the member could rotate and this connection should be ideally treated as a shear connection. So in that case it's advised to choose the connection template which is under the definition of the shear connection. For example a shear and plate BCF or the single plate BCF So let's see this time. Now here you can see this is a shear connection. So this time your compatibility in the workflow has been maintained. Whatever you have assumed in StatPro, the same connection templates you are assuming in RAM connection for designing. And same thing holds good for the base plate. So in RAM connection, we have different templates of base plates. So let's show you one of them. For example, this is a pin connection. And if I take you to here, you can see here fixed biaxial base plate, pin biaxial base plate, all of them are available. So this case, it would be like pin connection because I have selected the pin joint at the base. Okay. So let's see a few templates of moment as well as the shear connection available in RAM connection software. So here you can see 
that let's see one by one template. So this template is a shear connection. Uh, you can see that the flange is being connected uh, through its web. So this connection is known as the end plate BCF. So the next connection is also the end plate BCF, but this time it's welded. And this is also a shear connection. Here you can see the flanges are not connected. So next item is also the shear connection. And here you can see a small portion of the angle is connected through its web, the web of the beam. So next uh, we can see here, this is not a shear connection. This is a moment connection. Here you can see the extreme flanges are being connected to the flange of the column. That means the rotation is not allowed because the extreme flanges are restrained. So this is known as the flange plate BCF. So this is also a moment connection. Here the connection is also established at the extreme flanges through some cleat angles. So this is another template and this is known as the shear come moment connection. Ideally every moment connection takes both shear as well as the moment but here we are defining it by the virtue of the connectivity that is being established through the web or the flange. So here you can see as both the web and the flange are well connected to its adjacent member that is the column that's the reason we call it as a shear come moment connection you can also select those connection templates from here uh, now for example this one this is the bcf connection for the shear connection template now if you select here you can see only the shear connection would be highlighted and all the other connection templates would be grayed out. The reason is this connection is compatible to the shear connection template. So I will create a next content on the complete workflow on the RAM connection and how to optimize your connection design in RAM connection software.